I'm Chris. Chris? I'm Beth. I'm Beth. You really built out an awful lot of storage up here. It's wonderful. Now, how does that affect your tongue weight? You're towing with uh, a Highlander. Toyota Highlander. And it, you, it, the tongue weight can, it can handle the tongue weight? It's within specs. Extension cord. So utility stuff. Utility stuff. The walker tent goes in the top. Tent up top, okay. And the left hand one right now has a gas tank in it for the generator. Okay, and you got a generator to power it. And you have a lot of solar up top. How many watts do you have? I think it's 100 watts. 100 watts. It covers the internal fridge and an external fridge. So we've got okay. two refrigerators, and we're about at break even on the. Are the refrigerators three way or, uh, you know, gas, propane, electric, and. Just, just electric. Just electric. Uh, 12 and 120. 12 and 120. And are they fairly efficient? Or? Yes. Yeah. Both very efficient. How much battery do you have? You know? One little 85 amp hour battery. Oh, wow. That's nothing. <laughs> I have 120 in my tiny rig. You know, that's great. Well, if you're able to survive, what the heck? Oh, you got the generator, right? It'll, it'll pull you got through anything. the generator. Anything. Yeah. And you should also look at the bo box on the back, on the racks. Okay. Well, let's go back there. So, storage here. That's the heater, uh, the cassette for the toilet. Oh, cassette toilet. Yeah. You know, cassette toilets are really great. I think they're the perfect solution for boondocking because you can bring your your offering to, you know, whatever, you know, wherever you can dump it, right? It's uh, Yeah, no, they make a lot more sense in these dump stations set up. How long can you go with that? I mean, if you're trying to save, if you're trying to save. A few days. A few days, three days? Maybe. Whoa, hey, what do you got here? It has an outdoor shower. Uh, outdoor shower, yeah, that's a really. How much water do you have? I don't know. I oh, don't have to. Oh, okay, well, that's great. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, hot and cold. So he built that for us because the entire flooring for our external house is um, half-inch uh, interlocking foam pads, so it's super comfy floor. So you put lightweight stuff up there. Yeah. And the chairs. Yeah, and the chair. And you add it on this bumper. No, that, that's, that's all part standard. Of the boondocker really? I never saw that before. Very nice. With the great big wheels and the ridiculous tires. Well, you know, if you do boondocking. No. Okay, I do a lot of boondocking, so this would be. I don't want it to hang up when I go over a curve. This structure you've got here, this is pretty amazing. Uh, from the Netherlands. It's made by Walker. Uh huh. We imported it, was imported by a company in Ohio. And it's what makes this work. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, it's pretty impressive. How is it in the wind? You've got heavy-duty wind rigging up here, which is pretty good. It stayed up last night. Last night we had 22 mile an hour winds. Uh, <laughs> the other night we had 34 and somebody was on the other side. They had 40 mile an hour. So let me just have a look in here. Very nice. Very nice. I mean, this must have cost a bit of change, right? This thing? Like, what, like 2000? 2000 for the, for the structure, yeah. But it's totally worth it because the combination gives you massive square footage and you can heat it and air condition it. We had it heated and air conditioned all year last year. Excellent. Excellent. So it's like having a huge vestibule. Like, yeah, that's where you spend most of our time. Yeah, no, I can. Of course, it's wonderful. And uh, a lot of open windows and stuff, you know, for both airflow. Summertime, you're able to. But you said you air conditioned it all thing with the trailer. Yeah, 5000 BTU. Little, what is yeah. Yep. Yeah. Five. 5,000 BTU, and that blows it through the whole thing. That's anything you don't like about it? About the whole setup? Not yet. Not yet, good. How long have you been doing this? Camping? Well, no, with, with, this, with this, with this, with this, and me too, <laughs> same yeah, as me. 2020. 2020, okay, good, so two years. Well, this is a great place. We're living in paradise here. You know, it's just fabulous, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ponies, yeah. normally you get squirrels and raccoons. Here you get ponies. So this, uh, this shelter held up pretty good. Uh, we had 43 mile an hour winds last night. And this thing has uh, managed to stand. Now the wind was coming from that direction, so it is sheltered from the wind, but it looks like it's pretty heavy duty and it looks like it uh, is up for the job. Sterling Tandem, very nice. Very nice, handmade, right? Because my husband is also on this journey, but he's riding his bicycle. Yeah. So he's uh, he's riding his bicycle across the United States and back. Oh wow. So I'm carrying all of his. Well, I'm. Basically... So you go ahead, you camp for the night, and he rides up. Not every night. No, we'll only meet each other about every week or so. Where is he staying? Otherwise, camping or? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, great. He's, he's so he's really, he's going self-supported. He's totally self-supported. Excellent. I've done a lot of that. I, Have I you love really? it. Oh yeah, I love it. I've ridden across Iowa three times, <laughs> down to California coast. I, you know, many many tours. Yep. Yeah, so yep. it's the best way to travel. Well, this is his first chance to do cross country, but excellent. Do it now while you can, right? You don't know. He uh, turned seventy yesterday. He decided it was time. You're going to Oregon, right? Yes. All right, Oregon or bust. That's the first stop. All right, good. And then uh, back to Massachusetts. Good. Good. Do you know how much all your gear weighs? I got about 70 pounds. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that, that, and, the, that and the bike. Yeah. It's about 70 pounds, so that's about 40 pounds a gear. Yeah, okay. Well, that's reasonable. Uh, good. Good. Well, hey, you just have a great trip. I wish you the best of weather. Oh, thank a you. tailwind thank the whole you. way, I hope. <laughs> yep. All right, enjoy. Yep, enjoy your time here. All right, thank you. Bye bye. If you get a, can you uh, send that to me? Oh, and you can okay. see it there. All right, cool. All right, yeah, great. Yeah. To see it. All right. All right. Hey, you. great trip. Enjoy. Thanks. Uh, this right here is a separate clamp for the table, so the table exterior can be moved. table. Well, the table can be moved from the inside to the outside. Okay, so I'm swing arm. Mm -hmm. This is an outdoor shower. Outdoor shower, very nice. <laughs> okay, you don't have to open it. Okay, okay, outdoor shower. Nothing better than showering patent called, outdoors. Patent called outdoor shower. Power hookup. Okay, 30 amp. Yep. Okay, another yep. open window here. This is also a fire exit. Mm -hmm. Great, great. And this up top, air conditioning? It has actually air conditioning in this. You don't use it? No, I'm kind of hoping to take it out. Mostly I boondock. Same here. We'll trade notes on that. Okay. You know how many gallons of water you have? I have a 12 gallon fresh water tank. I have an 18 gallon. Gray water? Gray water, and I forget, like a 15, 18 gallon black water. Oh, you're pulling with a Subaru. Subaru Outback, 1,700 pounds dry weight. Dry weight. Okay, you can throw in a few more. You're over 2,000, uh, probably with all your gear in there. But this has a towing capacity of 3,000. So. Yeah, do you know what the tongue weight is? <laughs> it looks a little weighted down though. Uh, well, it was before we added the tire. It didn't have a spare tire. Yeah, that'll, that'll pile on. And, and you know, the, you fill uh, up this uh, this box. Can I open this? Oh, sure. Yeah. You open that, you know, that's going to all this add is, uh, this weight where. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. 20 pound propane tank. Uh -huh. uh, do you know what your battery is? How many amp hours? Or I mean, I'm just asking. You I'm know. new. <laughs> nice cutoff switch here, which is I'm very good. Okay, no, no, you're doing you're, you're doing great. <laughs> okay, that's nice. You, know, you load this up, and that adds this adds tongue weight. Yeah. Uh, this adds tongue weight. Everything adds tongue weight. <laughs> right. Well, we we moved the tire up here because the mount for it was underneath the unit in the yeah. back, and the clearance was only about that much. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. If you're if you're boondocking. Okay, and this is so your uh, your uh, your sewage uh, mm -hmm. drain. Okay. Nothing will happen because I have no water in the tank. Hey, right this is what's his name, Scooby? What's a Scooby? Scooby, the one-eyed dog. Hey, Scooby. Scooby, 14. you're doing pretty good. Fourteen. And that's Mo. Mo, how old's Mo? About nine. Nine. They're doing great. Nice. Oh yeah, they're troopers. So why does he only have one eye? Glaucoma. So he's doing pretty good though. He's adjusted and. Oh. You store this outside. I do. I have a winter cover for it. Door, got a screen door. Excellent. Excellent. Is this no seam or is it just mosquito? It looks like mosquito. Okay. Got a refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator. That's a three-way refrigerator? Yes. And you have a two-burner stove. Yep. Okay, very nice. And a sink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, storage up on top. Very nice. Yep. Jensen radio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, there. And CD player. You have pretty good ventilation uh, with the cross windows. Excellent ventilation and the fan, the vent fan on the top is awesome. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. Even just leaving it open with mm -hmm. not turned on, it'll you'll get this uh, yes. all the hot air floats right out. Now, all storage underneath, right? Underneath yes. heater and stuff under there. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? That's my water tank. That's my hot water heater. Hot water heater. Okay. This heater. is the swing out table. We moved it. In the tabs there, they're attached here. Mm-hmm. Um, but that meant that every time I went to bed, I have to move the table. Yeah. And I thought that just sounded inconvenient. So we moved it, landed it over there, which I've heard a lot of people have done. Uh-huh. Okay. The other thing that's nice is that when I swing it out, now I have some more room to pre for food prep. Right. You can use it as a food prep counter. Yeah. It's, it's An island. Yes. Oh yeah, a lot of room back here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, okay. So that's the single bed right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm short enough that I can sleep on that. Sideways, yeah. More, more storage here, more storage here. Okay. Get your head Very nice, there, very nice. Um, and then 
storage. Okay, I can't race it. No, come here. I can't race this with you on it. So there's storage. Oh, down below. Down okay, below. very nice, yep. very yep. nice. So you're not hurting for storage. I my car is loaded with uh, stuff. Well, my car's also loaded with stuff. But and uh, yeah. you have a uh, shower here. I, do. I have a shower, toilet. I'm gonna, it's okay if I open. Yep. Let me just move that out of the way for you. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice uh, turlet and uh, stand up. You know, shower. Yep. It's uh, high efficiency. Very. Uh, it's yeah. a front window that opens, which is very nice. Uh, very good. And how do you? Uh, what don't you like about it? don't like the air conditioner. Yeah. Uh, we also removed the TV, which was right there. <laughs> Good for you. I, I love people who get rid of those TVs. I was like, <laughs> we, we bought this unit used. Yep. So, What'd you pay for it? Under 20, what year did you buy it? Oh yeah, the peak pandemic prices. Yeah, 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 hard to get anything. Yeah. And it's a 2018. Yeah, this guy is just a real humdinger. Yeah. Oh, he's are. a sweetheart. Yeah. The only problem I have is I have a tendency to forget to close these things <laughs> and then lean in. I don't use the freshwater tank for drinking water. I carry my drinking water separately. Is it what you expected when you bought it? Yes. Good, good. So you're happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm learning what it costs. I'm learning the true cost of maintaining a camera. Yeah. Because I had to have all the seals checked, the exterior seals checked. Really, fiberglass trailer, and, and you have to have the seals checked. Huh? So there's maintenance on a fiberglass trailer that you have to have done. Yeah. I was told. I was told every three years or so. Everything needs love, so uh, yeah. good. Well, good. this needed fifteen hundred dollars worth of love, so <laughs> <laughs> just to seal it. Just to yeah, just to check them. Well, the problem is, dealer told me. He yeah. Said, These things are really well made. They're so well made. That it's really hard to get at the exterior seals. Oh yeah. The rubber gasket you see, that's not the seal. Not that this is a regular problem, but it's very hard to get at the glycol tank to check the glycol level for your heater. So glycol heater, for your heater? The heater runs, yeah. The heater runs on circulating antifreeze, basically. Oh interesting. Do you know what brand it is? Um Aldi. Aldi. Okay, That's so Aldi. it's uh, it's and like it's got a you know, it's got a lovely little computerized panel right here. Uh huh. Okay, okay. So it's a uh, hot. It's almost like a home hot water baseboard heating. Yes. Okay. How is yes. it efficient? Uh, it seems to be. I used it last night. Have the, you don't know how this happened, do you? I have no idea how it happened. Okay. Well, it's a peril of the road. You can just hit something. These fenders, they they come off. Uh, they're plastic. Yep. And it's a good thing they come off, and this is a good reason why. Uh, Nancy yeah. saw a cracked fender and she'd like to take care of it, so we're going to just try and duct tape it, which is the universal cure for anything. So uh, we'll see how this goes. And there's the finished repair. It's good enough. So you have an awning and it slips into this track. It just slips into the track. You just slide it all the way. And then... You have some holes probably? The guy... No. The guy ropes slide down into this track. What holds it when it comes out it from here? Has, what holds well, it? You know those uh, flexible tent poles that, that yeah. stick, that clip together? Yeah. It's just makes a hoop. It just makes a hoop, yep. Okay, great, great, yep. great. How is it in a wind? The um, I have not tried to put it out in a really strong wind, but it, it uh, it's pretty tough. Good, yeah. good, good. Like I wouldn't, nobody has an awning out today. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're no. getting 30 mile an I hour gusts. Put it out yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> you put it out now, you'll never see it again. That's right. Well, excellent. Well, great, great. Congratulations, Congratulations and uh, enjoy your your, your cross-country trek. Thank you. Thank you. It is going to be a big adventure for sure. I bet. Right? Hey, bye, Scooby. And thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's the vent for the propane. Um, propane heat? Propane heat. And the, I think it's mainly the refrigerator. Okay. So right now I have it running on propane. Um, just found oh, out recently. Okay. If you have that running at night and you're sleeping inside, you have to leave this window closed. You have about three inches of clearance. Oh, the fumes that. will go right up inside. They'll go right into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay, well, yeah. By, uh, national code, you're supposed to have 12 inches of clearance. I don't know how this ever passed. Yeah, interesting. I wonder. Uh, yeah, it's a, so you have to you know, it's good. So making a video like this, people get to see this and they get to yeah. understand what to look for. Yeah. I'm James. This is a 2015 Tab 320S, uh, around 2,500 pounds, I believe. Uh, 2012 uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. Well, it's a very nice color. I like the uh, the robin's egg uh, blue. All right, got a two burner stove over here. Front window, which opens, Front right? Front window, which does open. Two burner stove, um, three way fridge. 
Three-way fridge, so gas, propane, and uh, and electric, right? Absolutely. And uh, yeah, the uh, the Norcold is supposed to be one of the more efficient ones. It's pretty That's good. high quality stuff. Uh, and, uh, sink over here. Uh -huh. How much water do you have, James? Twelve gallons. Twelve gallons. Okay. And uh, storage down below. A little bit of storage here. Storage here. A little bit of storage here, and very little storage here. Okay. And you have storage up on top also. Yeah. Yeah, more storage up here. And it came with a stereo? What is that? It came is that with a stereo. Jensen? Jensen. Okay. Yep. A shower, and huh? Shower, toilet. Not shower, toilet. Very nice. Mask. Got the toilet paper in there and then the well, no, uh, well, you know, If you knew I was coming, you would have tied it up. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Um, have you used any of this yet? Uh, only test running it. I haven't actually taken a shower in there. We're actually using the toilet. Do you know how many gallons the uh, the toilet is? I you know the nine. Nine black water? Nine, nine black water and I think... I think seven or something uh, gray water. Now, is there a cassette in here or is it the drain nope, type? Drain. Okay, great. Yep. And you have a roof vent, which is very important. Roof vent. Yep. Two side windows, which open. So you two have three windows. windows, which is really good. Yep. A lot of these trailers come with two windows and they're very hot in the summer if you don't have that, uh, if you don't have that extra ventilation. Storage back behind you. Storage back there, storage behind this cushion. Yeah, that like low. flips down or something, turns right? Turns into a queen size bed and then you got storage under all the benches here. Okay, great. Air conditioning. Air conditioning, thank God. It's got heat, it's got hot water. Uh-huh. Um, that's really it. TV. We got a Nintendo TV. hooked up to it. Good, good. And you have uh, AC outlets. Yep. Uh, heat. It has heat. It has hot water. Uh, it runs on an Aldi system, which Aldi, right now oh. isn't functioning properly, so I got to find somewhere close to us. Uh, so Aldi is a circulatory system, right? It yes. has a liquid uh, alcohol yep. mix. Yeah, and glycol. It's, yeah. it's supposed to be a really good heating system as it far is. as, you know, feeling warm and all. Yeah, oh, it heats up in here. Yeah. It up in here. Before it stopped working, it was incredible. Um, now that's uh, electric and gas? Electric, gas, I think that was it, electric and gas. Yeah. That makes it run, right? Yep. So the electric pumps the water and the uh, the, the fluid and the uh, the gas heats up the, uh, the stuff. It could I, go on one or the other. It could run on gas or, or electric. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know how big your battery is? Whatever my mechanic gave me. Well, this me, is a brand new rig, right? It's 2015, it's brand new to me. Yeah, I see. So you picked it up used. Picked it up used last okay, well, year. Oh, it looks very, in really uh, condi great condition. Stayed in it during the winter while our house was being renovated. So. Oh, oh, so it's yeah. functional. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's functional. So you know a lot about it. I mean, uh, yeah. How, what do you like about it? I mean, uh, yeah, a lot of storage up here. It's got everything nice. Need. Reading lights off in the corners. Yep. Yeah. Two speakers. Right. Yeah, two speakers. Uh, how's the audio? Is the stereo good? The audio is great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Fire it up. No, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. Right. And uh, very good. Very livable. Oh, you got the Veginator here. I got yes. one of those. Those are great. Yeah, yeah you yeah, want to lose weight. That's the way to do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. And it's uh, you, your wife, and a dog? Yeah, that's right. Pretty good. Just three of us. Yeah. yeah, and you stayed in here how long when you were uh, having your house? Probably a month and a half. How big a dog? 65 pound pit bull. Okay. Yeah, he's a big boy. That's like that's like two people and a child. <laughs> Without a doubt, yeah. 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 yeah and where did boy. you have this? On your property? Yeah, it was right on our property. It's about six foot and I can almost fully stand up. I just gotta shrink my head down a little bit. Yeah, the lighting is good and all that. You know, yeah. you're happy with the lighting. Yeah, and I love uh, it, yeah. I love it. I added a little uh custom LED lighting over the weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, well, happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah, the festive uh yeah. what did you pay for it? Oof. Um I think I paid 15000 And when did you buy it? I bought it last year. Last year. Yeah. At the height of the pandemic, that's an excellent deal. Absolutely. That's an excellent deal. Yeah. Uh, you know. There's like a shortage of these. There, there is. They stopped yeah, them. yeah. I'm they talking to people who are waiting. The guy with the runaway, he waited seven months for his. Jeez. Yeah, it's uh, we got to drive from New Jersey to Ohio for it. So that well, maybe that's a difference. Maybe that's a smart, you know, it's a smart move on that's your where part. Made. Yeah, made in Ohio, so yeah, go to where they're made. The, the flooring feels solid, it's not that cheap, you know, uh, no. you know, like uh, I don't know, uh, particle board flooring. It doesn't feel that. like it, no, yeah. it feels pretty solid. It does, me. yeah. I this is uh, the third or fourth tab I've seen on this trip. This is a, a 320, I'm sorry, 320. 320. This is a 320, okay. Yeah, this is the second 320 I've seen, and uh, people are very happy with it. Had it out in torrential rain, it didn't leak oh, at yeah. all? No, yeah, no. Good. Uh, during the winter, I just put a cover on it, and that's it. One of the things I think is smart is that they have a no-maintenance step. It's just mechanically, you just slide it right in instead yep. of an electronic, you know, wonder, which is good for uh, several months. I had to put the uh, cover on here. My dog got his nail stuck in the holes in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you got to take care of Fido. Yeah. And you're real happy with it, right? I love it. Yep. 
Well, have, the next uh, move is to uh, get some solar panels for it. Well, come on down. I'll show you mine. Awesome. Anything you don't like about it? What do I not like about it? Yeah. Um, yeah, location of the spare tire down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would agree with you 100% on that. That's a boneheaded place yeah. to put a spare yeah. tire. Well, we get about nine inches of clearance to the road. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that's a little concerning if you're going off-roading with it. Yeah, uh, plus if you want to remove it, you got to get crawl under there and you unbolt crawl it. Crawl under and... there, and you got to bounce half of it on your face, and then you can bring the other side down. That's yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know, nothing's perfect. None of these rigs are perfect. You know, I mean, that's a small. If that's your only defect, uh, you're in good shape. You got binoculars, your bird watcher. Yeah, a little bit. Me too. You're good. Bit. This Very is cool. the season. I just came from uh, Cape May. Very nice, nice trailer lock. I like this trailer lock. Thank you, Reese. Reese tow power. Pretty nice. And the lock is here, the lock mechanism. Yep. I, I like it. I think it's nice. I may consider that. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's see what you got. You have a uh, you have a breakaway uh... Yes. Yeah, wow. That's the, uh, red cable right there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think on a trailer this weight, I didn't think you needed one, but it's a good thing to have, you know. Oh, I... without a doubt. Yeah, it's a very I good think thing some to have. States require it. 